Hello everyone, just Gorn here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo Quick Tricks tutorial and don't mind the dead giraffes, I think I've just made one of the biggest discoveries in a couple of months. As you could probably see by the thumbnail and the title of this video, I've created null feeders, I guess? Oh, they're disintegrating. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you heard that correctly. I have created null feeders. If we are looking around this map, um, we can see there is a feeder over here uh, that the oryx can actually eat from. Uh, there is a feeder over here in this custom little built tree that the koala, if they're not dead, <laughs> can actually climb and feed from and it's not just feeders that i've made null and um, any enrichment item can be made null over here <laughs> this kind of gives away how this is done but we have a mud bath that the red river hogs can roll around in without even getting muddy we have a rubbing pad thing for the jaguar that they can do their fun little animation where they're climbing on it and uh, th th there is nothing there what yeah as the uh, mud bath over here already uh, gives away uh, this is done by turning the enrichment or habitat items upside down and of course that is something that i have done with the free build mod that allowed me to do this and that allows you to basically have the animals use these items without having to see the items. So that means that we can indeed have custom feeders like this one, which is made by Lider. Uh, he has a beautiful custom feeder um, workshop item that I will link in the description. Uh, we, we can have stuff like that and actually have the animals use it. And even something like the koala tree, uh, we can make our own custom tree out of and the koala will actually climb it and use it and that is just the coolest thing i'm so happy that i discovered this because it's i mean it's just really cool right so in terms of how to do this how do i use this quick trick uh well it's it's literally just as simple as just taking the item that you want to use for enrichment and with free build just flip it upside down and the animals will still be using it as if it was standing straight up. So of course if you want to make a null object out of this uh, in terms of the giraffe feeder over here for instance um, yeah you kind of gotta look at how the giraffes actually use the object. You gotta look at the object itself and kind of use its shape and use the way that the animals use it to make your custom object if you want it to look as good as possible. The best example I can give probably is actually the eucalyptus tree feeder. Uh, as you can see, I uh, probably flipped it differently uh, before. Yeah, so I, I used the eucalyptus tree feeder as a base to trace over it with my own custom little tree and that is what I then uh, yeah, keep. And the koala will use that properly as good as possible, pretty much. So from playing around with this so far, uh, it seems to work with pretty much every habitat item, be it enrichment items, enrichment feeders, regular feeders, uh, the, the drinking things, the water bowls, the pipe, stuff like that, all seems to work just fine. I do have the idea that uh, for the enrichment items, like the rubbing pad and stuff like that, uh, I, I have the idea that the animals are using it less often than they otherwise would, but they can still use it. With food items, they do still use it pretty much as much as they normally would, because of course they need to eat, so they have more incentive to actually use it. Another thing I noticed that it does take a bit of playing around to get that accessibility right. Um, just move it around, see if the game tells you whether it's accessible uh, but even even then sometimes i did notice that even when it was accessible according to the game i still had to move it around a bit more to actually get the animals to use it i had that with the chimpanzee box thing for instance so yeah it's really finicky just play around with it a lot to see if you can get a result that works for your situation uh, and yeah obviously it's gonna be pretty 
difficult to line up the animations because a lot of these items can be approached from different angles, from multiple sides. So to incorporate that into your build can be tough. And also you need to make sure that your build does not interfere with the accessibility. But it is possible to make custom feeders with the animals actually using it. And that is freaking incredible. Uh, I love this so much. Now, of course, you do need free builds to do this easily, I will say. But I have made a workshop item that contains all of the enrichment items or the habitat items, as well as those same items upside down. So I will put that in the description. So if you don't have free build, you can use this workshop item to do the same thing. Say I want to make a giraffe feeder. I will take both the right side up and the upside down giraffe feeder, put them where I want it. And then I can use the right side up giraffe feeder to make my custom feeder to decide where the custom feeder needs to go. And then I can just get rid of the right side up one and keep the upside down one so that the null feeder will work. Oh yeah, and the fact that this workshop item works means that if you want to share your custom feeders on the workshop, you totally can. It will work for everyone, even the people that don't have free builds. So that is really cool as well. So yeah, I can't wait to see what people end up doing with this. I think it will really bring our habitats to a whole new level, just bring them to life. Uh, if people manage to incorporate these things naturally and effectively. Uh, so if you do, please do share it with me on Twitter or Discord or wherever. Uh, share in the comments what kind of cool things you discovered with this exploit. Because there's definitely still a lot to explore and figure out. And uh, yeah, if that, I think that's everything I have to say. I just wanted to get this out, get it to the people, get it in people's hands. Because I, I want us all as a community to experiment with this and to see what we can build because it's it's freaking awesome anyway i'm gonna stop ranting and uh, about this uh, stop rambling and see you in a future video bye bye